Hi, this is Paul Acevedo with Android Central. And hi, this is Anthony Rose. I'm co-founder and CTO at Zbox, and we're here at uh, App World TV Hackathon. So I'd like to tell you about a very cool new version of Zbox we've got coming out in the next few days on Android. It's actually a, quite a significant update for us. Zbox, of course, is the second screen TV app these days. It does really the key things that you're looking for from a companion app around TV. You, it helps you find things to watch. You can have a great time while you're watching. You can vote and play along with shows. It acts as a remote control for TVs. If you're a Comcast Xfinity subscriber, you can play video on demand and even send it to your Comcast TV or your Xfinity box. So it's really this sort of all-in-one app that means TV in the future isn't just watching, but it's being part of. And I think a big thing for us with Zbox has been transforming the product from about the television to about the TV show. And there's been a lot of news in the press recently about second screen social TV, but for us, what we found is when you love a TV show, you want to follow the show 24-7. You want news and goss on the show. You want to find out about it and interact with people and join the community when it's on air or not on air. So the next version of our app on Android has really got some significant changes. Number one, we've got Google Plus login, which is fantastic. Okay. Number two, we've got rich notifications, which are fantastic. If a friend wants you to watch with them, you can click it will appear in, in, in a notification, but it will actually even remote control your TV to jump to that show to watch with them. And we've got a fantastic desktop widget, or home screen app, which when you follow shows, brings you a, a stream of news, gossip, information, and so on, right on your Android home screen. So this is our very cool new home screen app. And so when you're following some shows in Zbox, we will bring you news, gossip, and so on 24-7, neatly delivered onto your desktop. And you can just scroll through it. And when you see a story you like, you can tap on it, it'll load Zbox, go to the show in Zbox, and show you the news story. You can jump to the show, a little slow on here to load. Um, you can jump to the show, and you can then even use it to remote channel change your TV to that show. So we integrate very nicely with the TV. Let me go back to Zbox. So our new version brings you My TV, which is a personalized TV for you. It brings you your schedule of TV shows. If you followed a show and it's on TV right now, you can see we've got community, so you can join the fan base. There's a TV week that Zbox builds for you of the shows that you're following for the week. And in each of them, it will bring you news, gossip. Again, the network here is a little on the slow side. No reason. Um, we've got a discovery tab that is a way to find new shows to watch. There are recommendations. You can dismiss recommendations. You can get a booking anytime you like for a show. And of course, we've got a very cool TV guide. The TV guide is a nice swipeable guide. Um, we'll tell you new shows on TV. You can get uh, notifications, but only for new airings. So this Zbox is this great app that is a companion for both utility as well as social around TV. If you don't mind asking, how is Zbox monetized? So, like dot-com startups, we kind of worry about that later, but really importantly, from a broadcaster perspective, we've developed something called SpotSync. So we've got a, uh, an ingest service that monitors 150 live US TV channels. We uh, use video fingerprinting to recognize ads on TV, and then our broadcast partners, NBC, Viacom, and so on in the US, can sell new types of TV advertising where you can buy, you can have a Kia ad on TV as we've done with NBC and The Voice and as the ad appears on TV in Zbox a synchronized ad appears it uses let's say your IP address to work out roughly where you are and you can book a test drive in that location. So the dream we have of new types of TV advertising it's actually delivered by our platform. Now it's obviously early days but uh, broadcasters sell TV advertising at about a half a cent per view and Google sells advertising at about 50 cents per click. Now a click and a view aren't quite the same but you can imagine that 70 billion dollar a year US TV ad market could be quite different when ads become clickable interactive and so on. We've worked with eBay to use our Z-Tag stream where we know what people are talking about on TV 
our servers analyze the speech on TV, and our eBay widget lets you essentially buy things. So if someone talks about Kim Kardashian, it'll do an eBay search to find merchandise on Kim Kardashian, which you can buy on eBay. So all sorts of things can be used to really make TV not something you just veg out on, but actually interact with a bit for the better. And Zbox is a free app? Zbox is a totally free app and it's available on, uh, of course, phones as well as tablets. And uh, we will automatically find your connected TV or set-top box in the network. We'll use IP address to work out if you're a Comcast Xfinity subscriber and then bring you Comcast Xfinity VOD content, video on demand, that amazingly you can send to your TV. So you can use Zbox to go, hey, there's Homeland. I'd like to play it on my phone or send it to my TV. But in general, Zbox is a second screen app. You're going to use it while you're watching TV to find things to watch and have a great time while you're watching.